The other skill set that's really crucial is your ability to mobilize people to your cause. And this is one of the things that, that good leaders really do. They're able to rally people to their ideas. If you have good ideas, getting other people to buy into those and wanting them to be part of that, by being able to set out what, what you can accomplish if you all come together. I think one of, the, one of the really important things to do early on when you're trying to understand emotional intelligence is just kind of take yourself back a little bit and just watch the behavior of the people in a room or, or really be very conscious of your interactions with people. What's their body language like? What's the tone of their voice like when certain things are coming up? Ask them questions about what their priorities are. What is it that they're trying to accomplish? What is bothering them right now? What's keeping them up at night? Asking these questions is really good because then it helps you do that on your own self-evaluation of those things. All that knowledge can then fuel the way that you position things, the way that you put things together, the way that you go about building that coalition of people around a particular initiative. If you do that effectively, it won't look like you're stepping on anybody. It won't look like you're trying to take someone's job or take away something from them. It's yeah. you're rallying their support. You're asking their help. The best thing that you can do is ask somebody for a favor. Is that the best thing? Because sometimes we don't want to burden people for favors. We don't want to ask. If you want to gain somebody's trust, ask them for their help. That you're trusting them, that, that you want their help. Now do it honestly. Don't do it just because you're patronizing them and yeah. doing that. But where someone can be there, asking them to be part of what you're doing is, the, is one of the best things you can give that person and shows your trust in them and how you feel about, about them as an individual and they'll trust you more and want to be part of something. If you just tell someone you're going to do something and always be that person who never asks for help, that, that makes you kind of separate and, and aloof almost in a way because yeah. you're seen as someone, well, I don't need anybody's help for that. Everybody needs other people's help. So asking for help is not a weakness. It's a strength and it's an emotional intelligence strength.